So let's suppose I have this box here and I want to talk about its mass. So let's start with the definition. A mass of an object is the quantity of matter that that object has, that that object contains. Okay, now it's very important to distinguish mass from weight. Mass and weight are not the same thing. So let me illustrate. So to illustrate my point, let's suppose I have this person here. And let's suppose this person weighs 200 pounds. Now let's be careful with those words I chose. I said this person weighs 200 pounds, right? Weight is a force. And when I say force, I mean there's something actually pushing or pulling this person. In this case, it's gravity pulling this person down towards the earth. And hence we have weight, which is a vector, which is 200 pounds. And if I call this way positive upwards, the positive j hat direction, then this is weight is 200 pounds in the minus j hat direction. And by the way, how would I measure this person's weight? Well, what you do is you put this person on the scale, right? So we have the person stand on a scale, and what is the scale? It's this little platform a person stands on, and at least the old-timey scales, they have little springs down here. And I'm kind of drawing the springs a little bigger than actual size, and the scale sits on the floor, right? And the person stands on the scale, and the scale squashes those springs, and depending upon how much those springs get squashed, how much those springs get compressed, uh, the little dial on the scale reads a certain weight. In this case, the amount that the springs get compressed, the amount that the springs get squashed, is indicated of, indicates a weight of 200 pounds. Now notice those words I just used. I said squash, I said push, I said compress, right? Push is a force word. To squash something, you actually have to push on it. You have to actually use a force to deform something, right? Weight is a force. Oh, and by the way, in case you're, you don't like pounds here, we can put this in, in metric units too. This would be minus um, about 890 newtons in the j-hat direction. All right, so what do I want to do next? The next thing I want to do is I want to take uh, this little person that I just created and I make a copy of this person and have the exact same experiment going on over here so what we have is the exact same person over here the exact same scale the only difference is that I'm putting this person in this scale on the moon whereas my original experiment was the earth so on the earth this person weighed 200 pounds or 890 newtons right but if I take the same person, take the same scale, and, and do this on the moon, what's the scale going to read this time? Now my guess is that you have seen video footage of people walking on the moon, or in this case it looks more like bouncing on the moon, and it looks foreign, right? It looks otherworldly. In fact, by definition it is otherworldly. They seem to be just sort of hovering there. They're sort of not accelerating towards the ground quite as much. When they fall it looks different, right? And that's because the force of the moon pulling down on the person, that is the force of gravity on the moon, is different than it is on the earth. So if this same person standing on the moon were to step on the same scale, it would not read 200 pounds anymore. Instead, it would read something quite a bit smaller, uh, right around 33 pounds, actually. Or if you prefer to think about things in terms of metric, this would be minus 147 newtons. So just to recap, the weight on the Earth and the Moon are different because the person is feeling a different gravitational force, right? The Earth is this big planet. It has a lot of mass. It pulls things a lot harder than the Moon does. But what about the mass? What can I say about the mass of this person on the Earth and the mass of the person on the Moon? Now remember, by definition, the mass is a total amount of matter contained in the object, right? If I take this person and I count up all the all the protons and electrons and neutrons in that person and do the same thing for the person on the moon nothing changes right sail has the same amount of matter in both cases so for the mass on the earth and on the moon the mass is the same it's the same because this person in these two different locations has the same amount of matter so if you actually want to quantify mass in this case remember the weight is equal to mass times the acceleration due to gravity so mass would equal weight divided by acceleration due to gravity which would be the 200 pounds divided by 32.2 feet per second squared and when I do my calculation this turns out to be 6.21 
Uh, what are the units associated with that? So it'd be 6.21 pounds seconds squared per foot. That sounds kind of crazy. Uh, we have a special name for that. It's called a slug. So 6.21 slugs is the mass of this person. Now we can do the exact same thing using the metric units if you like. Mass is just weight divided by gravity. So weight in, in the metric was 890 newtons. Gravity would be 9.81 meters per second squared. And that would give you, what do we got, 90.7 maybe? If I did my arithmetic correctly. And the units would be Newton seconds squared per meter, and that uh, that's a kilogram. So a little over 90. So a little over 90 kilograms. Now I can do the calculation over here with my my numbers for the moon, if you want. I just have to use a different value of g, right? Since the moon isn't pulling as hard on on the person, the person doesn't accelerate as much. So on the moon, g or acceleration due to gravity would be 1.62 meters per second squared. And I'll let you figure out that we get the exact same mass in kilograms for the person or if you want to change this over to feet per second squared and do it with pounds you'd, you'd find the same number of slugs. Now the important point I want to hit home is that mass and weight are different, right? Weight, weight is a force. Mass is a quantity of matter. They're different things. They're related to each other, right? The more mass you have, if you're on earth, the bigger weight, the more weight you'll have. Same's true on the moon, by the way. The more mass you have, the more weight you have. And they're related to each other by this very simple relationship right there. But they are fundamentally different quantities. When we talk about inertia in the next video, we'll see where mass is the quantity that's really important to us.